Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Virtual Oyster Fest. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we're here at Mad River Brewery. I'm Executive Chef Trevor Eliason. Uh, we recently joined forces, and we are going to prepare some lovely oysters for you from North Bay Shellfish. Uh, a little bit about myself, I've spent the last 15 years in the culinary industry. I have a lot of Napa and Sonoma. A lot of uh, food and wine pairing was a real specialty for me. And one of the reasons it drew me to Mad River Brewery was their amazing beers and the things that we can pair with them. Uh, today, that is going to be this lovely Petite Pacific Oyster that we are going to shuck and grill. And then we have some lovely accoutrement for that, which is candied garlic, confit lemon zest, some fresh chives and chive blossoms from here in our garden, and a lovely brown butter fondue. So we're going to show you how to shuck an oyster. If you haven't done that at home, I'll go through one nice and slow so everyone can see it. So I got these from Kyle at North Bay Shellfish. These are beautiful Petite Pacifics. They're just a little bit bigger than ones you would usually eat raw since we're going to just lightly poach them on the grill. These are the perfect size. So what you want to do is you're going to find a hinge located right between the top and bottom shell at the pointy end here. Always try to use a towel so it'll help you not, unfortunately, jab yourself. So you want to find that hinge, you can feel it kind of pop open. We're going to run in here, we're going to go, there's a foot right here, that's what they called, and that's what keeps the oyster shut and that's what keeps all the briny juice in there. So we're going to release that. And then there's one more foot on the bottom. And then I like to flip them over, call that the pretty side. So there you have one oyster, nicely shucked. We'll just reserve that guy right there, try not to let the juice drip out. See if we can get a couple more. So these Petite Pacifics are grown on the Arcata side of the bay. And the North Bay shellfish have a very interesting technique of removing the oysters from the water sometimes to help strengthen the foot, which helps hold the brine in. So these guys really know what they're doing. Give it a little flip. There we go. Let's get a couple more of these guys done. The more you do, the easier it is. I myself, one of the great reasons living up here in Humboldt is we do have such access to fresh seafood and oysters is definitely one of those delicacies that I really like to enjoy. It goes well with so many beverages, beer, sparkling, even seltzer go really well. One more and we'll have a nice half dozen. Sometimes you gotta really find that hinge, but you gotta be careful not to jab it. There we go. It also means it's a very fresh oyster. The oyster opens up much too easy. Be weary. But these guys, you got really nice juice inside. The brine's gonna be fantastic. You could easily just pick one of these up and eat them. In fact, why not? That was fantastic. Absolutely delicious. I guess I need to replace that one. Mmm, briny, creamy. Let's get these done. It's almost time for a beer. All right, there we go. Got a little half dozen for us. Okay, so we have our nice shuck oysters right here on the grill. We got it nice and hot. Uh, it's probably running about 
400, 450 degrees. These are only gonna be on here for a minute. We just wanna really lightly poach them. They'll just slightly firm up. And then we're gonna add some of our accoutrement at the end to really bring out some new flavors. So you wanna balance them. You wanna to try to keep as much juice as you can in there. Maybe you can hear that little sizzle. That's exactly where we wanna be. All right. Now why those guys are poaching up, I'm gonna show you one of our ingredients. Now this is burr fondue. This is basically liquefied butter. I'm keeping it just at a nice warm temperature because it's kind of delicate. Now what we did is after we made the burr fondue, which is just really whole butter and water, just emulsified very slowly. But at the end, we added butter that we had browned separately into the burr fondue. So you get that nice caramelized flavor, kind of similar that you would when you were just kind of grilling with a garlic butter. We've just kind of elevated the experience here. Oysters are doing good. We got a nice, probably about, take about two, three minutes for these guys to poach up just the way we want them. So while our oysters are gently poaching on the grill, I'm just gonna go over a couple of the ingredients that we're using today. First one is candied garlic. This is something you don't see a lot, but what we've done here is we've taken garlic cloves that we've trimmed and we have blanched them in hot water and then shocked them in ice water three times. This re removes a lot of the bitterness of the garlic, gives it a much more gentle flavor, and it becomes just slightly soft without being caramelized. Uh, then we basically made a very simple sugar water solution that we turned into a caramel liquefied it a little bit so it was in a syrup form, and then we let these simmer together for about 10 minutes and then kind of let it marinate overnight. Uh, what you have after that is just lovely clove of garlic in this syrup. It is nutty and fragrant and beautiful. It very much transforms it, and it goes so lovely with these oysters and a, and a nice beer as well. So what we did here is we just slivered the garlic afterwards so like do one or two slivers on each oyster depending on their side a little bit of the syrup and that's it's a wonderful compliment and as well what we did is what we call a lemon confit we took meyer lemons we peeled off the zest very thinly so you don't get any pith that's the bitter part the white stuff and then we took the juices we squeezed them we sweeten it and then we poach these guys very gently and then let them marinate overnight as well. So it's very fragrant, has a really nice zesty citrus quality. Uh, it so obviously complements oysters very much so. And then what we have here, just some fresh chives from our garden. Uh, cut those just nice and thin. And then of course, these some chive blossoms as a little garnish as well. Now, when we combine all of these elements with our brown butter fondue as well, it is an amazing oyster. Can't wait for you guys to try it. All right, our oysters are ready. Here we go. We're gonna just put these guys down on this nice bed of hops. It'll help our guys not fall over. And it looks pretty cool too. Six. We take a little bit of our fondue first. Nothing wrong with something covered in butter. All right. Now it's time for a little bit of our candied garlic. Just gonna, nice sized piece. Got just a little bit of juice in there. Next up, we're gonna do a little bit of our lemon confit. Just a couple pieces of zest here. Each one of these guys. And if you love lemon, go ahead and put a couple extra on there. It's up to you. And finally, we're gonna do some chives. Nice little chive blossom. There 
کرد They say you eat with your eyes first, so I think we're starting off on the right path here. Here you have it. This is our contribution to Oyster Fest. Uh, we really enjoy them. We hope that you get a chance to as well. We have paired this lovely Petite Pacific Oyster with our Citra Steelhead, which is made with these Citra hops that are very fragrant and lovely, and they make such a great beer. So let's check out our pairing and see how it turned out. Delicious. That has so many layers. That beer has the, the acidity and the citrus that goes so well with something so decadent and rich. This, I mean, the little accents of lemon and the earthiness of the candied garlic go fantastic with this beer and its style. It's fantastic. I hope you enjoy it and get a chance to try it. This is uh, available in select stores, but you can always come down and get it in the tap room here in Blue Lake. Thank you.